Welcome to part two of the Corona Road scenario for Panzer Corps II uh, Spanish Civil War. Uh, we have auxiliary forces and trade uh, in, in play. Uh, we are using it to extract quite a bit of prestige. One thing I was thinking on uh, during a part one of this episode was the logic of uh, moving, uh, placing a ignore zone of control hero on this non overstrength BT-5. And I was thinking this exact same thing could have happened. Uh, theoretically, uh, this uh, unit was almost destroyed. Uh, it has a fair clip of uh, uh, steamrolls, overruns, and uh, a decent amount of prestige or uh, experience as well. It probably wasn't the best of ideas, but uh, well, it got done. We'll not worry. All right, so uh, what we want to do is get the Verdaja, the last few overruns it needs, six to be exact. There's a Brigada there, a Brigada there, a Militia, a Brigada. And we want to extract the Prestige here as well. It looks as though our allies have uh, cleared out, leaving us... Um, in the lone position here to wear. Let's see what we've got. One point, two points. We'll take one point. Let's see here. We need one point on you, one point on you, or uh, one point on you. Uh, let's see here. One point it is, two points. We'll take it. One point it is. Alright, so another 70 gun there. We can go like so. Go, go! Well, I need to close that gap there. This is stuck. You can go like... Um, like that. <clears throat> <clears throat> so we'll take that. Three points now. Oh, well, well, oh, well, well. So we're st we can't get someone on this hill because we have no tracked vehicle other than you. So we can split you. Head up here. There. This thing is... Um, there's no... I see. Somehow we've, we've unencircled that, uh, that unit. Hmm. I would wager that, uh, <clears throat> why not, why not, we'll pop him. So now we need one point of damage. We can get here. Let's see, uh, can we get, uh, we can't. I don't think we can. Hmm. We can't. We cannot. We we'll go here, but then we're stuck. We can't move there. I don't think we can get. We can get there. We'll do it. Meaning you can go there. You can go there. And we will surrenderize that uh, artillery piece. Get him off the books. That leaves you. Um, <coughs> I suppose we could um, try to surrenderize that unit, or uh, hmm. we can move you um, like so. I'm pretty sure we can get you back here like that. Two points better than none. <clears throat> but one point is better than none. Let's see where we can go uh, there. We can get uh, one of these units. Uh, hmm. We need a unit here. It would seem as though um, our choices are limited. Unless we can move. No, we can't. How about you? We can't.
So it's you or nobody. We may as well try. It's some prestige. We can head up here. Let's see, we'll send half up. And get uh, say here, and get it there. Circle those guys there. In theory, we can go right here and heal with our meticulous planning trait. Let's see what happens here. This this unit here may uh, take some damage. This one theoretically can't make it, <clears throat> which means if we go like like um, hmm. What does it mean? We would want to overrun you. Let's do it. And pull back here. I think we can get them <clears throat> forward here as well. And then swing here on this airport and get these planes out of our here. What to do? Uh, hmm. Looks as though we have a T-26 looking to surrender. Let's move it out here. We'll take some damage. Get those guys primed for surrendering as well. Hopefully they'll injure themselves. So uh, we can move um, you forward there. <clears throat> can get you here. Three and one, three and one, two and four. There's one point there, three points of suppression. Just zot him. We need one point. That's one and one. Can you do, um... We'll split you. Do a point. <clears throat> Go there. Alright, so there are some units here. There seems to be a couple of units up, uh, up here. There's a fortification. A fortification and our, our goal here. That we need to reach at some point. So where is our artillery going to go? Um, I think perhaps up to this area. As it's up here and our bonus objective is sort of up here as well as opposed to well here and then up there as well hmm half a dozen of one six of another really there's no uh hmm there's a victory hex here there don't seem to be a lot of units here we have a quite a few ground forces and not a lot of uh, ground forces here, so maybe 
We'll send our artillery off in this direction to support our lower force count here. I'm not uh, sure that they're going to really get much anything done. You, on the other hand, uh, may be able to... There are a lot of forces on the ground here. Let's get here. So this guy is stuck. Uh, we can join back up there. These guys are stuck, stuck. Uh, how far can you go? Um, uh, how about you? Let's, uh, let's go up here. And we'll, um... Uh, where will we go here? You can go... I may as well get up here. Okay, so we'll move you up here and, and get you tip-top shape. Let's move up here as well. Five, um, okay, you, um, we can go there and uh, heal up. Let's drop the bomb here on, on this uh, anti tank weapon, <coughs> this UNL car as well. So this anti-tank uh, probably won't do much as he's going to take four points of suppression. You have a bunch of moves left and uh, five points. Hmm. You, ten points. That'll move him. The problem is the rascal will end up on the hill here. So. And then we just de encircled this lot. Hmm. Hmm. This guy, um, hmm. Six points, four points, five points. Hmm. No overrun to be had, at least in theory. One, three. Yeah. There must be some sort of. There's not, though. There's no. There's no bonus. There's no coming together or synergy, there's just sort of just random attacking and eh, good enough. This this unit could move. If it does, uh, that means uh, this encirclement here will break. But um, well that's that's life in the big city here as well. I don't think it happens. We could get here. And then we would take uh, some damage. Yeah, maybe we'll we will go there. What happens here? Yeah. Our butcher is uh, and rapid fire <clears throat> is protecting us from from this guy's wrath, really. So we'll not worry. We'll not worry. We have a butcher and then the um, eight soft attack rapid fire butcher. And we've encircled this guy, so he'll have uh, four less strength points at the beginning of his turn, so that attack will be even more feeble. What does that mean? I don't know. I don't know. What does it mean? These units, they can't move. This unit, um, we're in no hurry. Let's heal up. 
heal up uh, or whatnot. Let's um let's get this unit forward um right here. And we'll move our artillery forward there. Here as well. We'll get you here as well. It looks as though this guy is um Let's see, we can uh, corral them again. I think that is going to be uh, very close to the end of the turn. I think everyone has moved. Let's... Uh, wh where's our other anti-air weapon? It's here. It's moved already. Next turn. here they move back to that base good for them I think we can circle the slot here next turn. They went for the recon car instead. All right, let's see what we're looking at here. These uh, are encircled. I wonder how many overruns we could get here if we pressed our point. Let's see, this is clear, and that's five. So he could go, well, let's see where he goes. It doesn't matter where he goes, because it will be somewhere other than the close, which will give us an overrun for our Verdaja tank. This character here as well looks to be sort of overrunnable. What would happen if we took some damage here? We would want this guy. Let's do it. Like that. So that leaves us free here to uh, apply some damage against this guy. Like so. Let's see, four points, is it true though? 3.53, <clears throat> it's not exactly true. It's not exactly false either. I bet we can make it more true. That is a 1.98, a near certainty. We'll uh, proceed on the road here. Let's see here. 2.994. That's close enough to 3 as well. U is a 1.5. If we go um, here, move the other half of this up, and then do away with this uh, anti tank weapon with our artillery piece. I wonder if we could overrun him as well. Or do we want to surrender him? <clears throat> 96 prestige. Two points. Um, let's, um, let's surrenderize him. We can roll up there. One point, boom. That'll mean we can do one point um, or three points. 
Let's um let's do three points. And then we can check uh, here 2.90 is close enough. We we'll probably improve that. 2.95 is better. What is that? 5.52. So we would really want to do a point or something to this guy. And then 4.90, good enough for me. Boom. So we should be one away from Steamroller now. We've done it. The question is what to do. We'll go up here. Okay, so let's get back out of these mountains here. Let's try to head over. Um, well, actually, we have these tanks here. Anti tank as well. We have a tank here. We could use more forces over there. Hmm. Let's go up here. How far can you go? You can go, uh, say, here. Go there. Fill that unit up. Get up there. Let's get another tank down uh, in this direction. We'll go there. We can go here as well. We want to maintain some encirclement on this unit, I believe. Let's go up here and heal up. We'll go like that. All right, we have some mop up movement that we'll take care of. We can make it up here. Trying to get around the back there, maybe, or position ourselves so we can do it. Let's give these guys something to sink their teeth into here. Hmm. If we get adjacent to this anti tank right here, I don't think it goes real well for us. This unit probably will attack as well. theory we could apply some suppression points maybe if we go up here like that <clears throat> hmm. well good enough it's something they'll have four suppressive points at the beginning of their turn Can we get any more units up there? We can. Probably should. <clears throat> okay, so you have done your thing. You, uh... Let's see about, um... Coming up here. Let's get that, um... <clears throat> we have here we could go there and should will can let's go say uh, here as well
so we can go through the swamp with our tracked vehicle <clears throat> We can, uh, hmm. Hmm. We would really want a unit. Here. <clears throat> but then you will come and, well, if there's an armor here, this encirclement will break. Uh, there may not be, who knows really. Well, there. We can go in the swamp. And, um, these guys are militia. A militia, so. <clears throat> perhaps we'll just uh, do some damage. And be as happy as we can. Uh, in fact, this is uh, not exactly the most conservative thing ever but in theory if we go like this both of these will be completely suppressed and they won't be able to do anything to our 10.5 <clears throat> denied artillery cannot irreplaceable unit in the swamp but there's nothing here so we don't care in fact we'll move our anti-air forward here as well This allows us, this position here allows us to get back there to maintain our encirclement almost surely. They'll have to move this unit, and I don't think that happens. <clears throat> Looks like we took some damage. Let's see what we have. Um, uh, da, 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 there's a you. Hmm. Yeah. Let's get up here, and in theory we could move you up, um, hmm, there's an airfield here, <clears throat> really we'd want to be able to maybe support this activity here, so we'll go here. We want to get these uh, hostages rescued up there. And uh, let's see, you can go, you've moved, you've moved. I think this is uh, the end of the turn. Except for you. You, you. Hmm. Well, let's go there. All right, I'm pretty sure that that is it, right? That's it. Next turn. Up oh, these guys. slowly but surely headed our way and these uh, I see I see He held his ground and maintained that encirclement there. That's good news for us. Bad news for the enemy. Let's see here what can get done.
We can bombard you, but why should we do it right now? Well, we can bring some recon to bear, maybe do more or something. Six of ten entrenchment, so we need to de entrench him by one. Let's see, one five. I think we can de-entrench you by one click there. So the minimum entrenchment in this guy's hex, last time I checked, was... It's a town. Which in early Madrid was... Five. Five points. Or, or uh, is, sorry, four. Four points. So, theoretically, we can move him. And surrender him. We've done it. Does that mean here? We can get five points. Is it true though? Is it true? That's what we need to find out. SDKF. Verdaja. Verdaja. 4.997, so he will be overrun. Boom, have a steamroller now. So we don't need to uh, hunt for overruns. Although, um, why not try? Who are you, a militia? I think we can just overrun him. about just letting loose on this unit there. <clears throat> I think we could butcherize him. And head up here. So we can go right through that zone of control, I think, and encircle this guy as well. Let's move you up, um, we can get here, and get you up here. We can go like that. Uh, we can heal fully there. Who are you, Brigada? And you are Brigada. Hmm. How much prestige are you worth? 80. But it's something. It's something. Maybe we'll get um, in this direction for our bonus goal here. <clears throat> so... Up around or direct, we'll go here. Let's head out. We'll heal up. Three and two, that's a uh, ACC 1937. Heart attack of 10. We probably should have healed this unit as I think all the enemy air is here. <clears throat> mm, such is life. In theory, um, let's see. We'll grab some overruns here for our non core unit, but. Um, well, you know, an overrun is, is irrelevant other than this, the unit is gone now, so <clears throat> it's good news for us and bad news for the enemy. 
let's move forward here. How far can you go? Hmm. And you, uh... This is rough and hills. There's nothing here. There could be something here, but they'd have to go here, here, and then there. Is it possible? It is. But are we gonna worry about it? Or not? Let's head up here. We'll go right there. Let's nudge our guys again here. Let's do an order attack. And, uh. Yeah, 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 yeah. These guys. Let's head up here. Two and six is. Three and six. So get some experience, gain a star. Take the wind out of this guy's sails. Not become encircled, so it's no problem. Let's see, this, this area here seems to generally be in hand, so let's roll out here, we'll get there. Let's move it out here. These guys, um, maybe we'll head over in this direction. <clears throat> we'll see about getting here. Uh, sort of get up in there. Why not? Uh, we'll go here. I think that's mostly everyone. Um, <clears throat> I'm gonna pop them. We have plenty of prestige. Get some experience for the Bretagne. This uh, could spawn, or this could spawn at any moment. So better safe than sorry, relative to our present situation. And that, I believe, is the end of the turn. They'll not do it. They're not. They're going to the. Another victory hex. They're headed over here. Bond. Nine points, three points. I don't think they have any air force over here. So we're going to heal you. Send you over to bomb uh, this unit. Three points, two points. Two points, I see, I see. Let's see, one, two, we can go there, and then, oh well. Oh well. We've encircled ourselves. It would seem as though we have. Let's send our butcher over in this direction. We'll get you here. Six points. Pretty sure we can take this unit. Five points. Let's go. Um, one click up there. We need two points on him to surrenderize him. Pretty 
pretty sure we've got it. Two points there. Man. One three will take it. Keep the experience in house here. Let's see, we can go um, like that. <clears throat> and then heal up. We can't heal up because we moved twice. So this guy would want to join him. Heal up. That would be true. So this guy is stuck there. All this phased movement and meticulous planning has me thinking that my tanks are even magical like my recon cars. They're not, though. They're not. They only get two moves. So, uh, we can go, uh, say, over in this direction. We'll go up here. Why not do it? Uh, we'll heal up. Or not. It's, um... I have so many units here. We're just small about. Uh, in theory, we could go, I, I think, here and, and heal. As we have as yet to move. We can do it, yeah. Alright, so we'll go here as well, and... Maybe we'll get you over here as well, toward our bonus goal. And then uh, we'll get uh, properly positioned here for, for what? I don't, I don't really know. Let's see about, um, there's a lot of units here really. The more the merrier. All right, the more the merrier it is. Let's uh, head you out. Uh, in this direction here. Let's see what we have. Um, enemy airbase. You can go on that airbase there. Boom, we've done it. Let's see what we have here. Looks like some... Um, looks like they're looking to ambush us there. So what we'll want to do is bring our artillery forward here and then zot those guys. So if we go forward there, we need a, a unit here as well. It doesn't look like that's going to be in play. Here is where we need a unit. Theoretically, I suppose we could go like that and that. And then heal here and here. Let's see, we have another recon car, but can't make it. This guy can go here, but he'll be stuck in our zone of control and, and he can't move any longer. If he goes up here, he'll have to swing all the way around to engage with our glorious 15. So, we'll pop him. And nothing will happen because of it. We'll pop you as well. Something would have to come raging out of this fortification here, over this, how many moves? Uh, I think two, at least. It's for uh, half turn. Hmm, well, I'm not sure that that's correct or, or what it is, but I'm not really worried about it either. We'll go here as well. Let's get up here. And you forward here as well. So these um, our artillery are under this uh, anti-airs aura. These guys, if they try to attack uh, our half units, they'll get baked. And then you, um, off you go in this direction. that's gonna do it next turn
We drew him out. those guys out as well, it would seem. Well, as I was thinking, they don't have enough, quite enough movement to uh, decimate our anti-air weapons. We're taking this uh, 10 strength plane out. I see a 2-6. Hmm. <laughs> I see a 2 and 5 there. There's no rush. There's no rush. Let's see what goes on here. 12 points. Hmm. How about you? 2 points. Hmm. 8 points. 4 points. Four points. One point. Two points. Two points, two points. Nine points. Hmm. Six points. Two points. Surrenderize them. Nine points. <clears throat> One nine, let's see. We have first strike here. So at least in theory, we should do as well as not. 111 still, I see. Well, we'll take a point, why not? We'll head up here, overrun that unit, take over the enemy's airfield. What is this um, militia going to do to our first strike A tank? He probably won't even attack. Who knows, though. So, uh, let's take a look down here. Brigada, militia, militia, brigada. I see. These guys. Hmm. It's a sort of a difficult uh, situation to surrender the enemy into. I wonder if we grouped up around here whether we could get around the back of of any of them per se. Uh, hmm. What if we go uh, like? Um, how far can you? Hmm. What if we go like that? And then put you here, and you here, you here, you there, and then uh, you there. This unit, uh, let's see. We can come up here. Group up around that airfield there and, and let the enemy come to us, perhaps. <clears throat> Rather than trying to get uh, around the back of these guys, which is essentially impossible. And then here, not really easy either. So let's leave that alone. There we have more. Let's uh, send you up there as well. We can send this unit um, 
off in this direction. All right, so we have a uh, five points. Five points there, or five points here. We'll go here. We'll stay close to uh, this uh, fortification. Maybe get off here. We'll get everyone under um, air cover or anti-air cover. So the enemy can't uh, strafe us or bomb us or whatnot with uh, impunity. Just gonna permanently uh, put these units to sleep here. How about uh, say that one? Oh 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 oh. Hmm. Here, I think we're happy enough. I don't think they get here. They can't do it. Next turn. X1 Truby a tank. Oh, uh oh. I see. UNL 35. Let's see what we can get. 1 4. 0 2. Um, hmm. 0 2 there as well. I'll take it. Let's see what we can do. Nothing. We'll heal up here. Zero two three two. Uh, this is a brigada in the open. One four one six two uh, four three and five. So we should be maybe able to destroy that unit. enough here let's let the enemy come again we'll go here with our non-suppressed recon car they'll probably attack again be another bloodbath for them let's head down here where's our um what, what happened to our air force oh there they are i see i see We've encircled them. Let's uh, let's head um, down 
Well, maybe the enemy wants a little bit here. We've got it. And then... Um, maybe uh, we'll juice you or move these units. Where can we move them to, I assume? Let's, uh, I wonder... Let's move down here. One and five, two and one. It's one and five, that unit. I see, I see. I think that is, um, that's the size of it. Nothing here, right? Not a thing. Next turn. We'll tell him to attack again just because. Trubia there. We'll get this guy encircled as well. Five of nine. A couple more. To one more turn for either of these and they'll be uh, easily surrenderable. Let's see what goes on up here. We have our butcher man. A one zero I see. Him. There's a one zero as well. I'd imagine that's because of the ten of ten entrenchment. And theoretically, we could go like that and de entrench him just the same with our auxiliary unit there, like so. One and two uh, can go like that. De entrench him again. One and four, um, why be in a hurry? This uh, unit uh, has no business. We don't need him there any longer. Maybe, um, maybe we'll head back in this direction here. As for you, um, I say, I say. Grab six points there. Let's move him. And then finish him. We'll grab some reinforcements in this direction here. Militia, Militia, Brigada, Brigada on the close, and probably finish that unit there. Good enough. Let's uh, heal here, we'll repair there. Now 
works generally. You have moved. Nothing going on here. Suppose we could try to. Uh, hmm. Yeah, good enough. Next turn. Let's speed by our allies' turn. We need one point. Looks like that's it. Is it one? Close enough. Let's see, uh, nine, so one point on that unit will do it. Four points or two points. All right, let's. Uh, we can join back up here. We'll do it. And why not go down there and support all those half baked targets? We can join back up. Or you can join there. Go here. Let's see, these guys can go there. You can join there. Alright, we have you. And then you. Eight points. So he should be... Um, he's not minimum entrenchment, but... Very close, and I think he may well surrender. If, um, let's see. We need two points on him which is what we have here. He surrendered. So we need to get this unit here to uh, an airfield, say here or here. We should be good to fly. What does that mean for us? What does it mean? I think we can proceed down in this direction and get this butcher tank down to deal with uh, this lot here. Let's see if anything is here. There's nothing. In theory, we could pivot a step over in this direction and then perhaps engage the enemy, the enemy's air. Next turn, we could we could move you forward here and, and pop off at, at some of these air. But um, I'll just do that off uh, off the recording, and then uh, let's see. This is done. We could probably bomb this guy or uh, this guy as well. One and one. Let's bomb this guy. Go like that. Well, it's good enough. Let's move forward here and uh, surround that unit. We'll probably go here. Pull down there. This thing is going to be completely suppressed, essentially, so we can go here as well. In theory, we could um, go anti-tank with this 
unit there without too much trouble. And then um, we'll get even more force count here. And get um, on the road, on the road, let's. And then you. Head back up over here. That'll do it. Just fast forward through these our allies' turn. I don't think that's working. <clears throat> So uh, it's 12, a 10 of 12, we need one point on him. These guys have gotten a little bit too big for their, their britches, as it were, here. And now they've been encircled. Next turn, we should be able to um, finish them. That's that. Let's see here, there's nobody. Um, let's head back up here. Go there, here. And, um, oh, look at that, a spawn. So my idea regarding, it's been my experience with fortifications that if you get up close to them, you can never really do much of anything. I suppose we could stop them from leaving their fortification because the, the zones of control would be such that they would never be able to leave. But we actually want them to leave because we want to uh, encircle them and suppress them and then surrender them. So let's get back a little ways. See if we can give them some uh, breathing room there as it were. And then you, uh, let's send them out this way. We'll send you out uh, in this direction as well. I wonder if we could force march. Uh, we can, so that means that we can embark, maybe. We've done it. I think that's going to do it next turn. Let's, uh, where, where's our air? There he is there. So 
so we should uh, indeed be able to surrender you we use our suppressed unit to gain more prestige this guy here we need one uh, one point there good enough get there one point it is all right let, let's um let's finish this out here maybe and um, then we'll go up north we can't move we can't move we can here. We'll go there. You can go there as well. You can go here. All right, um, that looks good. In theory, this area is secure with our artillery, so let's move here. And then you've moved, of course. Hmm. One point. I say that we let these guys come just even a smidgen of a hair closer. Leave our auxiliary units maybe in front there. And then we can uh, engulf them or envelop them. Good enough. No damage. Glorious, glorious for us. Some experience for our anti air. Here, so no one can come out of that uh, fortification in these hexes because of the zones of control. Here, so this guy is, is stuck, at least for the time being. And this unit here. Let's see, the Trubia is worth how much? 126, you are worth uh, 112. Trubia is probably more trouble. Let's move one click forward here. Eight points, five, we need two, there's one, I see, one point, two points. Two points better than none. Two points it is, which 
means surrender. This unit here, come down there. Hmm. We'll probably do some damage. We could come here as well, really. And block this area as well. So they can't come through here at all. Here, 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 or here. They just don't have the movement. So they're stuck, as is this T26. Theoretically, next turn, our BT5 can go here and then back out. And this. Uh, avoid any sort of attack by this bunker. Zero six one five. Hmm. Yeah. Are we doing any damage? We are, yeah. How about um, you three points? Let's do it. We go here, one six I say, um, let's wait. No rush. Bomb this guy or this guy. Let's bomb this guy. <clears throat> Go like that. Let's see. Head out here. And then you can land, um, can he land there? We've done it. Nobody home here, it would seem. I think that's uh, good enough. Next turn. The last one damaged himself. Ah, three points. Three points indeed. So we need one point on that unit. Let's break you in half. One point it is. It didn't work, I say. Two points. Hmm. Well. If at first you don't see I see one point there again. We can heal and stop these guys from coming out until we're ready. Five points, we need four. Why should we be in a hurry? We shouldn't. This uh, Brigada is worth some prestige. Six points suppression. That'll be ten by the time he's done. We'll go here. Get here as well. We can't move anywhere. We're going to take some damage. We don't want to get uh, anti air fire engaged with us. So, next turn. Yeah, <clears throat> we took one point. It's perfectly reasonable, really. Happy to do it. This unit, we need two points on him.
Two points it is. Alright, so you uh, nine points, we need one point. Two points. That's good enough. I'm pretty sure that's going to do it for this turn. Next turn. BT5 is always getting beat up. Let's uh, just pull back and let these guys come out again. Like we did that first time around. sort of randomly moving about not a lot of rhyme or reason anything here nothing next turn all right um, nobody here Next turn. Gordia Seville. Next turn. More reinforcements in the T20s. I see, I see. Let's pull back and give these guys um, room to hang themselves. And uh, we'll say, come over here. We'll go like that. I think that is uh, the size of it. We can, uh, let's see, nine of nine. Next turn. How did he do that? Oh, anti-tank. Oops. Alright, let's pop off. Uh, we'll get up here.
wonder if there's anything down here. I think that's it. Let's, uh, let's call it a turn. Three and one, three and one. He can't move, we'll leave him be. We'll leave him be. Happily so. Let's see if we can uh, maybe get some surrender going on uh, you. Two points uh, suppression. We need. Uh, let's see. Is three. We need two points on him. We have three. Uh, I think we need one. Can we get it? Zero. I assume. I assume. One point. It is there. What goes on up here? Nothing next turn. Six points, we need two points on him. Or just a smidgen of suppression more. Means we now need one point on him. Get out of here. We'll overrun that unit just because. Back up here. Next turn. Anything here? Next turn. And next turn. We've done it. Uh, here's the debriefing. You we have um, a couple of efforts. There's a civil war brewing, as you may know from playing this through previously. We can go and uh, do some siege operations or uh, go on a sort of a, an offense, a quick deployment. So let's uh, see what hero we get. We're going to go to Malaga. All right, let's see who we've got. I see. I hope to see you in the next episode.